Hey there, I'm going to take you through a series of videos that will give you a general overview of Pistol 360 features. In this video, you will learn the fundamentals of the integrated knowledge base. The idea of the integrated knowledge base in Pistol 360 is to allow you to document operational procedures right in Pistol 360 exactly where you need it. Normally, customers document this type of operational procedures in an external system. They might be using SharePoint or a wiki site or even a share folder. With the integrated knowledge base in Bistal 360, you can put this knowledge in Bistal 360 and it will surface right in the places where you need that information. To configure the knowledge base, you need to go into the knowledge base configuration section. Here in the knowledge base configuration section, you can define knowledge base articles to different types of messages and events in Bistal 360. You can associate knowledge base articles with your service instances, with your ESB exceptions, event logs and throttling data. Let's start with knowledge base articles for service instances. I pre-created some articles to show you the capabilities that we've created to match knowledge base articles right into Bistal 360. So let's start with the most simple example. And I created this article in Bistal 360 so that it matches this generic message whenever it happens. To create the article, I have created an article title and I have associated this article with a particular error. Then we have the body of the article where you can insert rich text with the editing capabilities so that you can have a, an article as rich as possible. And then on the bottom, we have the tagging capability, which allows you to load a particular article in different contexts. In this uh, particular article, I have not chosen any tag. So this article will show when service instances with this particular error code appear in Bistal 360. So let's see an example of these. I've executed a group by query against the message box so that we can identify service instances and better understand which articles should match each instance. So the first example I will show is a service instance for which there is no knowledge base article. So this error code does not exist in my knowledge base articles for service instances. And so there is not any kind of visual cue when I look to the service instances. And if I go into the details of this service instance, there is no reference for a knowledge base article. If I choose a service instance that matches the error code I just documented, we can see there is a visual cue highlighting that there is a knowledge base article available for these particular instances. If I go into the details, I will see a new tab called knowledge base. And if I click on it, I will see the corresponding article. And this is exactly the article I documented for this particular error message. You can also see that I have a few other articles matching the exact same error code. If you go into the details, you will see that I, am, I have a different article title and I have the same error code with a different article body. And then on the tags, I'm tagging this particular knowledge base article to tag one particular environment and then one particular application name. For this particular application, instead of showing the generic knowledge base article, I want to show this particular article because it suits better my application. So let's see this in action. So if I go back to my query, I can click on some service instances that are part of that application. And you can see there is still a KB article visual indication. And when I go into the details, I can see a more specific article that matches this particular application, as you can see here from the title of the article. It says error in application customer order routing, which is the application that these service instances belong to. So let's take a look at a different article. In this case, the article is very specific to a send port. We can see the same error code and we see a different body. And you can see I'm using an image just to show the capabilities of this editor. And we are tagging this particular article to a specific environment and to a specific service name. This is one of the send ports in this particular application. So as you can see, this is a little bit more specific. And now let's see some instances that match these conditions and see the article being loaded specific for those. If I go back to the queries and I click on some messages that are for that particular send port, I can see that the messages have associated knowledge base article, which I just showed you. So we can also associate articles with ESB exceptions. 
This is associating articles with particular faults that exist within the ESP exception database. The concept behind these knowledge base articles is very, very similar. I have created two different articles, one that matches a generic fault. Let's start with that one. This article is generic, so there is no tax associated with it, and we have an article title and a fault code, and we can see the body for this particular error. Since we don't have any tags, it's expectable that any fault of this type will see this particular article. So if we go here back to Bistal360 main screen and we go into ESP exceptions, we can see this fault code I just talked about, and we can also see a visual indication saying that there is a KB article associated with this particular fault. So if I click on the details, I can see the KB article tab and the generic article is showing up. KB articles for ESP exceptions also allow tagging. So I have a different article here. In this article, you can see we are still matching the same fault code and we have a different article body, but now we are tagging for applications. In this case, application one. So if I go back to the ESP exceptions queries, we can see I have a lot of BISOC application one related faults. And if I go into the details, I can see the KB article that matches this more specific type of fault. Now let's go and look at event logs. And here we can see also an article that instead of matching service instances or ESP exceptions that matches event logs. In this case, the article is matching the event ID 30,012 and it's a, a service bus related event. We can see a description of the problem and we are not using any tagging. The knowledge base articles for event logs also allow tagging based on the different fields available on an event log. If I execute an advanced event viewer query, you can see here that I have one entry that has a KB article visual indication. If I click on the details on these, I can see the knowledge base article I just showed you. And last, we also have some articles for matching throttling data. You can see we also pre-created some of those articles so that you don't have to create them. These documents will let you know what's the trigger for the particular throttling condition, what are the actions taken by BizTalk when this kicks in, and if there is any mitigation strategy that you can take. And this is all from knowledge-based articles.